All right, guys. So no other than Parts and Parts back again with you here on our channel, Parts and Parts. And uh, today we got some parts in for the old SSR. We got us a brake, master cylinder, because the other one, as you can see, see this here rubber bit right here? Well, on this Wait, one here. Yeah, why are you taking that off? On this one here, this right here, it's cut, as you can see. So, I'm going to take the top one off, put the new one on, and uh, we also got two quarts of oil. We're going to drain the oil out and put new in. So, uh, look forward to us doing that. So, uh, we're going to uh, show you how to take this off. What you basically right what you basically do is take this out, freeze your line here, your hose, and uh, unhook that down there. There's a little cutter pin and a bolt that goes through. Take that out, and then this whole thing on these two little bolts right here. It's two bolts. Take those out, and this whole thing should come out. Then what you do? Put the new one on. You can see right there, which hopefully it's fit. Then take those two little screws out, put you some uh, what we got is dot three brake fluid right there. But you could either put dot three or dot four in this, put that in there, hook it up, bleed your brakes, and you should have brakes then, hopefully. So, uh, we're going to zip that puppy off, and we'll be back with you. Alright, folks. Got, here's the old one. As you can see, it's here. Tear. And there's the new one. Look, they look pretty much the same, just for the holes. Which, that one's a little bit adjustable for different yeah, models. Yeah, you see, this one has the adjuster right on there. Oh, yeah. That one does, too. <coughs> so, it's meant to be. So, try this one over the parts bin. And uh, we're going to get this one on, and it'll be on in a flash. Alright folks, so we just got to uh, take this here nut to hold our um, bracket there in place. And um, then what we're going to do, zip these two uh, little screws off, take this cover off, fill it up with brake fluid until it's about halfway. Then we got to bleed our brakes right here. And then... Um, then we should be good, though. Okay, we tighten up that there nut. We're gonna show you how we uh, take these two screws off. Logan's gonna do that, I think. And uh, I'll get him a screwdriver, and we'll show us getting this off, filling it up with brake fluid. Okay, Logan's gonna uh, take his screws off right there. Well, you need a short screwdriver, but we're making do. Oh, sure, no. Really need one of those little stub um, screwdrivers to like reload mm -hmm. one because the exhaust is in our way. Yeah. But um, we're trying to maneuver it here. Looks to me like he's getting it. I just don't want to strip the right there. Or the head. The head, yeah. The head, yeah. It's Here we got our brake fluid. Oh, I don't know how we're going to do all this now. What are we gonna do? There's a hole down here. Ha! Made you look. What a fruit. Okay. Really easy, like. Concentrate. Whoa! Whoa! I that, got to that's know. A, yeah, that's about good. Oh, but we're gonna have to right. bleed them, so we're gonna have to put more in it, I anyways. Think I had it perfect, though. Yeah, perfect. So now, after he uh, tightens that down, while he's tightening that down, which, what you gotta do here is see our brake line is in the way of the bleeder screw. So what you gotta do is you gotta find a socket that'll uh, loosen that up there. And I believe it's a ten. So let's get a ten out of here. Yep, look right on the money. So you loosen that up a bit. See now this the. This is harder than it looks. Now the um. 
Brake line is out of the way. Tighten that back down. Now you can gain access to your bladder screw right there. So, pretty much what you do is you pump the brake. Then after you pump it like, I'd say, 10 times, you hold it down and someone else unscrews this. You'll see air come out of there. And then once the fluid starts coming out, you tighten it back up. Then you do the process again and again till you start till you feel like you start having brakes. And then uh, once you do that, you should have brakes. You might have to repeat this process a couple times. To um, those don't have to be really tight because we're gonna have to take that back off. But, okay. Um, you're gonna have to probably repeat this process a couple times, refilling the master cylinder or brake fluid. So we're gonna do that right now. Why don't you tell them what you did to this whole thing, bud? What I do? Uh, oh, uh, the tube. Kind of uh, busted the tube here. So we got one coming straight from China, and we got a new tire too because this one's a little bit bald. So um, get this here five sixteenths. And uh, Logan's gonna pump it ten times. That was 15. We'll hold it down. Okay. Now I'm gonna unscrew this here. By the way, I'm dyslexic. See, the fluid came out, so I shut it off. Bump it again. See that pocket of air come out? Okay, do it again. Go. I guess there might be another bleeder screw somewhere. Don't think. But we should be getting brakes unless we have a hole in the brake line. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got that um that uh master cylinder installed. And um, still got to work out a little kink with that, but ain't no biggie. Uh, but now we're going to move on to the oil change. And uh, Logan just dumped, the, dumped, out, dumped out the dumped uh, out the oil drain pan, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so the only thing you will need for this application is your, uh, what's this, half inch? Three-eighths. Three-eighths. What? That's Three, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so all you're going to need for this application is a 3 8 so, uh, ratchet and a 11 16 socket. Alright, there. And what you're going to do, the only thing you got to do is you see that little plug right there? Underneath there? You stick your ratchet on there and you got to loosen it up. So once you do that, all your oil is going to drain out. Mostly, most time it's tight like that. So you got to watch yourself. But, uh, take it off slow. Take it off slow. And then you got to try to hurry up and uh, pull it out real quick so you don't get oil all over the place. Then you do that and just let her drain out until she's barely dripping like a little bit. Put your plug back in. And then fill her up with the oil right here. And, um. Jeez, bud, got it yet. Well, I thought it was loose, but, um. What you want to look for is you want to look for metal shavings. If you find metal shavings, you. Okay, so. Put the camera down here. I'm about to let her, let her drain. And screw this last little bit of threads. Hold on, wait, wait. Okay, this. 
As you can see, you can see the threads on this here drain plug. Three, two, one. Boom! Now you can tell by just looking at that oil. That is all oil. Because oil in dirt bikes, 10W40, like we got, which that's what they call running these bikes. Um, 15W40, 10W40, just depends on where you live. Um, but usually the oil on these bikes should be like a lighter color oil. As you can see, that oil is almost black. So she's due for an oil change. She probably hasn't, I'd say she probably hasn't had an oil change for a couple of years. I mean, this bike is 11 years old. Might have only been changed that's twice. That's probably a factor oil. Oh. If it is, that's that's bad. <coughs> you always want to do this to your bikes, no matter if it's just a little pit bike like this or your everyday daily bike. Or even like Predators or brakes or Craftsmen, small engines. They're, they're the easiest to do, so why not do it? It'll save the life of your engine. We'll let this oil drain, and then we'll show you how to fill her up with the oil. Well, folks, now the time it is is to put your uh, drain plug back in your engine. Just throw it up in there. Get it uh, finger tight. Get your ratchet. Tighten her up in there. Like a tripod. What? Sound like a tripod. Yeah, it's, it's a tripod today. But um, that just snug. Now what you do? Take your oil filter cap, unscrew it, and see what most pit bikes, most pit bikes, well some some have a little spy glass right here to tell you if you're low on oil or not. But SSRs, they come with this little dip stick. What you do is you dip it in there and you wipe it off and you pull it back out. See what it reads. Ours should read nothing because well, we don't have any oil on it. And it does. So what you do is you put your dip stick off to the side. Get your new oil here. Show them what that is there, bud. Uh, just the cheap stuff, uh, 10W40, on synthetic, you don't want to get synthetic. It depends on like where you live, they say colder temperatures you uh, use different oil, but I always ran 10W40 in dirt bikes this size. But what you want to do is you just want to add like a quart. You want to maybe a little bit under a quart, and then you want to check it. And if it reads like you got some, then what you do? You check it again. And some people even check it again three times. Then what you do? You start it up for a little bit, shut her down, and you add more. You don't want you don't want to run it a lot just to get the oil circulating. Let's see what we're reading now. I had about three quarters of a quart. What are you reading there, bud? I think it's hard to tell because it's all the old oil. But I think we're reading just showing up. Let's see. 
Well, the bike ain't straight. You want to have, have the bike straight so that way it's, it's in the center. So that way it's not all leaning to one side. Okay, we're reading about about a half hour. Add a little bit more. I read I read online before we did this, and some people say a quart and a quarter, but I'm gonna just put a quart in it. Start it up. See what she reads. Well, parts and carts. Yeah, parts and carts really doesn't care, but. See, it's reading about 75%. So we're going to start her up, see what happens. And, uh, see what happens. I, I did um, take off the carburetor off camera. And I did look into um, the bowl to see why it's missing. And I'm thinking it's just the, um, just one of the jets. So what I'm going to do eventually is just Take them all out, spray some carburetor cleaner in it, get them all new, nice and new, and then uh, get a new air filter because that one's a little dirty. So uh, start it up, see what's Make it straight. Yep, see? I always gotta have someone double checking you. I forgot to wipe it off. It's reading full. I don't know why I was smoking. Throw it up again, see what happens. We'll start it up, let it run for a little bit. See what happens. See if we can get the hand start. You figure it wouldn't smoke because it's got new oil in it. Yeah. Maybe because it's new and it hasn't burned through yet. Mm. It sounded like you could hear everything, but I don't know if it needs more oil. So, okay. as you as you see, we just taught you something today. Hopefully. Yeah. Don't be lazy. Change your oil. Give your bike some more life. Change your oil. Or whatever. So have. now, if we had this tire. We could have took her out riding today, even though we got these little bit crappy conditions. Yeah. But the clouds saw her. It looked like it was going to rain before I came over, but it, I guess it blew over. Yeah, guess so. Got here, I was a craftsman here, six horsepower. We're going to get it probably on, um, we're going to get her on a frame pretty soon here. We got to find one. Probably uh, that one back here. Thinking about putting it on that good car back here, but got to get a motor mount, got to get an axle, you know, stuff like that. But uh, as always, I'm Casey. It's Logan. It's Parts and Carts. And uh, like and subscribe. And uh, make sure to follow the Parts and Carts Instagram right here. And uh, turn on your post notifications so you yeah. know whenever this video is coming up. Yep. Um, and. Uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.